This video is intended to show you how to set up use cases for self-authored tests. You begin by clicking on the authoring at the top of the screen and it brings up the display page for self-authored tests. I go to a test that I would like to edit. In this case, I'm going to choose report examples and I click on the details box within that test. This is the standard screen of revisions for rolling back and viewing definitions and next to the revisions is an option for test cases. So imagine I'm a QA administrator of a test and I want to make sure that everything is working correctly. I can create a blank test case of all of the scenarios within that test. It simplifies the interface so you only see the responses. So I could go through and click these individual responses and say this is my individual test case for that test. And we could uh, even put in some text information by clicking through these boxes and say this is my sample test case. Finish it off here and click Save. It saved it as a new test case. If I'd like to rename that test case, I click the Edit button and just put in Simple Test Case or something like that. Whatever makes sense to your process and save it. And the real advantage of creating that test case is I can click on it and run it. So what this is doing, it's bouncing off the scoring key that's used in production, and then I can view that result to see how my results ended up. The scores, the reports, I could click on the individual reports, and I can see whether I got those questions right or wrong. As I move forward a little bit to more sophisticated test cases, I could put in an all-correct scenario, where all of the responses that are in here right now are those correct answers. Pretend like more questions were added, and I can save that test case. Then I have this as a historical artifact of my testing process. If a change is made to that test, I can go in, click on this button, and say run all of those individual test cases. I can go back by clicking on the view result and make sure that all of the test cases that have been generated are still in good standing. I can also create blank test cases uh, in mass. So I've auto-generated 10 test cases by clicking on this button here. It runs through at about five seconds per test case, generates some auto-generated cases, and allows you to not have to click through the instrument many, many times. It can save an individual QA administrator a lot of time on their testing process by having to open tests, click through all of the results, and submit them. So I've auto-generated all of those cases. Once they're done, I can view the results. I can remove those test cases if I've generated too many or if uh, my, my inbox is just getting muddied with information. I can delete those test cases just as quickly as they were entered. So this is a great way for you to save historical information, to validate your tests, to make sure that everything is running correctly. And I can also export those at the end so that I can put those in a CSV format or something that I can take offline and make sure that everything is working as expected.